always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5. Good Tuesday morning. I'm Bree Groves with your News 5 update. As this unusually bitter cold fall weather settles in, the city of Pueblo still doesn't have a permanent homeless shelter, so leaders are scrambling to come up with a temporary solution. Council plans to reach out to community partners who had helped last year's shelter to see if they can make something happen right now. A permanent shelter is in the works, but not ready just yet. And one homeless man that we spoke with says the struggles of not having a shelter to go to and the weather is rough. I, I'm in a sleeping down by the river bottom, you know what I mean, with a tent that's basically collapsed. I wake up with it four inches to my face every day, I wake up three times a night to uh, get the snow off of it. Um, uh, I stay warm as best I can. I have no heating source. The permanent shelter, though, is expected to be done by late December. On the other side of the coin, with Loveland, Keystone, and A Basin open, people who make their money selling ski gear have been really busy. Shop owners say competition between ski areas good for business, but if you don't like crowds that early skiing, well, it is crowded, and you might have to wait for more runs to open up. Now for your forecast with meteorologist Sam Schreier. So today we're expecting the snow to really start arriving closer to lunchtime. So 10 to 11 and then 12. Flurries probably start to turn into a little bit more of a consistent snow, especially by one to two. It's snowing pretty good from Woodland Park to Colorado Springs to Pueblo and Canyon City by two. Spreads out across the rest of the region by four and then even fills into the mountains better by five to six. So this is a heavy snow with a lot of wind. This is a very intense situation that keeps going. Well into the overnight hours, this is midnight, and then it does start to taper off a little bit towards 5 a.m. And still, good snowfall through 7 a.m. for Pueblo, leading to slick commutes. And if you need more info, it's there at KOAA.com.